Okay, on the right is the telescope, on the left is iPad. I don't know if you can see that bullseye, but there's a bullseye here. Okay. That bullseye is where the sco scope is pointing. Right now it's pointing at a planetary nebula. Um, I didn't really prepare for tonight, so I really don't know what's up there. Uh, but when I aligned it, um, I aligned the second star in, on uh, Castor and Pollux. And I wasn't sure which one was which, but the map showed me. Um, and I noticed there was a planetary nebula nearby. I moved the, the telescope so that the bullseye was on it. I look in there, right in the eyepiece. But notice what happens is, as I move the scope, you can see the bullseye moving around. So you really don't need to know the sky. And here I can hit lock, okay, and the map will go with it. So as I move this, the telescope, the whole map will move with it also. So. It's uh, very cool, you can just move the scope around. In fact, Jupiter is right down here. Now Jupiter is easy to see without a, without, you don't need a, uh, you do that with the naked eye, you don't need that. But, um, and I wouldn't have the uh, iPad back here, I'd have it up in front of me, I'm just doing it for so you all can see on the uh, video. Basically, you put the, the bullseye right on whatever object you find interesting. Look in the eyepiece. And there it is. Okay, looking at Jupiter right now, I see uh, the four Galilean moons all in a row above Jupiter. Straight line, all evenly spaced. Kind of an interesting spacing. But again, that planetary nebula, how do I get back to it? Just move the scope, look at the map, and uh, just... There it is, right in the middle. Um, and I got a, I'm at a 180 power right now, 180 power. Uh, and it's dead on. And I didn't even do a good alignment. Uh, what planetary nebula is that? I can click on it. It's the Eskimo Nebula. And I, and I get all sorts of information on it by saying info. There we go. There's information on the Eskimo Nebula. And I think there might be a picture. Just hold on back. Alright, let's do this again. So, Eskimo Nebula, select, there we go, info, there we go, look at that, pictures. So not only, uh, I mean, all sorts of information, iPad's a wonderful way, I mean, you just don't get this any other system. iPad or tablet, I'm using um, Sky Safari, but that's what I saw, it doesn't look quite that good. Um, iPad and telescopes, it's a beautiful thing.